Welcome back to another BizBite episode of the e-commerce badassery podcast. I'm your host, Jessica Totillo Coster. Let's get real for a minute. E-commerce is a numbers game with only one to 3% of website visitors converting. If you want big sales, you need big traffic, but how much traffic? Well, there's a calculation for that. and We're going to talk through it right now. First things first, you'll need to collect some numbers, your average website conversion rate, your average order value, and your gross margin percentage. So there are two ways you can do this calculation, either by your desired revenue number or your desired gross profit. Quick note about gross profit if you don't know what that is. It's the difference between what you sold a product for versus what you purchased it for at wholesale or what it cost you to make it. This is before all of your business expenses like website hosting fees, employees, overhead, etc. We're just talking about the gross profit from your products. Okay, for this exercise, we're going to assume the following numbers. Conversion rate, 2%. Average order value, $62.50. Gross margin, 60%. Let's get into the calculation. We'll start with a gross profit goal because after the first calculation, all the steps are the same. So let's say we have a gross profit goal of $180,000 a year. First, we need to figure out how much revenue we need to generate in order to hit that goal. So we're going to divide our gross profit goal by our gross margin percentage. So you would take $180,000 and divide it by 60%, which equals $300,000. So that's our revenue goal. Now we have three more calculations to do. First, we'll figure out how many orders we need. So we'll divide our revenue goal of $300,000 by our average order value of $62.50. That means we need 4,800 orders. And now comes the magic. Take the number of orders you need, 4,800, and divide that by your website conversion rate, in this case, 2%. The result is 240,000, which means you need 240,000 visitors to your website in a year to hit your $300,000 revenue goal, which translates to your $180,000 gross profit goal. Then you can just divide that by 12 to get your monthly traffic goal of 20,000 visitors. When you first do this calculation for your business, you might think, oh shit, how am I ever going to reach that? Remember, in this case, we're just talking about increasing your traffic and we're assuming all your other KPIs are staying the same. But there are a lot of levers you can pull in your business to hit the financial goals that you want. This is just one of them. If you want to dive deeper into this and get a real handle on the numbers in your business, then I invite you to learn more about The Lounge, my membership for e-commerce business owners. There's a tool I created exclusively for lounge members that will help you figure out where you need to focus in your business to hit the goals that you want. Doors for the Lounge are reopening on May 23rd, 2022. You can learn more about the program at ecommercebadassery.com forward slash membership. I'll put a link in the show notes. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or in the ecommerce badassery Facebook group. So now that you have this calculation, go forth and calculate. That was really lame. But seriously, go do the calculation and then see where you're at. I know when you first look at it, it's going to be scary. But think of it this way. Once you know where you're going, it's a lot easier to get there. Think about when you take a road trip to somewhere new or even just if you're going to a new restaurant. It always feels like a long time getting there because you're in unfamiliar territory, you're trying to follow the directions, you're looking for landmarks, and probably lowering your radio so you can see better. But the ride back home, the ride to that familiar place, the one that you know how to get to, it always feels a lot faster, right? This is the same. Once you know where you're going, it's easier to get there. I'm excited to hear how this goes for you and what aha moments you have. Reach out after you do the calculation for your business and let me know how it went. Thanks for tuning in to another BizBite episode of the e-commerce badassery podcast. If you have a question you want answered on one of these episodes, please do let me know. See you on the flip side, friend.